What's up everyone, my name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of myinvestingclub.com and I wanna let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's gonna be available at myinvestingclub.co. The link is gonna be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. What's up guys, it's uh, Tom Diesel here. Um, I hope you guys had a great week. It's pretty stressful for me right now, given the current situations in my country, and, you know, with the whole coronavirus stuff. But uh, as I promised, uh, this video to several members about um, uh, range order, uh, how to set them up. And uh, so I, you know, intend to, uh, you know, to keep my promise. So even, you know, in this hard time, but, uh, you know, I still want to help members uh, anyway, uh, because uh, I think you guys are depending on, on, on this, uh, you know, on Monday to, to, to trade. So um, Joe has a video on OCO orders for the Dash platform and different brokers, but uh, I'm using uh, Trade Zero, So that's uh, what I'm uh, going to do today to give you guys, uh, you know, basically an, a guide how to use the range order, that's all. But uh, again, I'm not licensed or re registered um, and I'm not working for Trade Zero. So any uh, of the material that I'm, I'm using today, it's, it's uh, you know, for educational purpose, uh, you know, only do it at your own risk. And I don't affiliate or like uh, work with them. So uh, if you still have any questions, you know, contact them directly, but not to me. All right. So uh, now comes uh, the most important questions or the topic that how to set them up, right? Let's say you want to short, what is that moving on Friday? OPK. That's uh, the ticker name, right? And let's say the line was, uh, I don't know, you want, you want to put fantasy out at uh, three bucks, right? So that's... Uh, how you put fantasy order out like quantity you want to short 200 shares type is limit and you know route is smart that's the only thing i have here you know day time force day um and price at three you hit short right the order should show up on your portfolio window like this one it should be in here like uh, you know opk short margin limit price you know whatever the shares you use the, the limit price you choose and it says here status new right and when it hits it should be under here under your like open position you should see here opk 200 uh, you know margin short and whatever the price that uh, you put in, uh, let's say I put in three, so the your your entry price here will be three as well because you put a limit, right? And uh, that's how you put fantasy order out. And uh, once it's filled, it should show in here. And well, that's what I did is uh, right after it fills, I put out right away the range order. So let's say you have 200 shares. You want to use that 200 shares and you choose the range order right here you know everything stays the same right high price now it's your stop so your stop would be 3.2 and the low price should be your target right 2.8 for example and once you you see it in here on your portfolio window once it's in open position right now right so right now you currently have open positions of 200 shares you want to put you know basically your stop and cover target so that order should be up right here and you choose 200 share range you know high price that's your stop price low price is your target and you hit cover right and it should show in your portfolio it should show right up here it's like uh, there should be a two lines like buy and stop M mkt like a stock market order 3.2 and 2.8 and here is your open open positions right but you can also do like uh <clears throat> you can divide that uh, you have 200 shares you can use the first range order for 200 shares you know the the, the stop is the same 
but uh, you know you can put a different target on it so let's say the first one is 2.8 the second one you want like 2.6 right you hit cover as well and the other one is 2.8 let's say and you hit a cover too so it should show up here like uh you know two line like four lines in in total uh stop mkt and you know 3.2 and buy limit order at like 2.8 and stop mkt 3.2 and buy order at 2.6 so you should see like four lines in here like you know, says it's uh, status is new right so that's how you can scale out of the position i mean given the same stop but Keep in mind that uh, I'm 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 using uh, Trade Zero International, and so if you want like uh, like uh, free commissions on that, you need to use at least 200 shares. Like once it hit like uh, 2.8, it will uh, cover for your it it will get you out, but it's basically for free, right? But when it hits uh, you know 3.2, you you're gonna have it to pay anyway. 100 or 200 shares is like one dollar commissions or or anything. So you want to check you know uh, check that with uh, Trade Zero. So that's the range order. And if you don't want to use the range order, like you know those are the bracket, right? You have the stop and the cover. But let's say you just want to use stop only. Uh, let's say you, you in here like OPK 200 shares, right? You in the position now. Or if you want to know what position you in, you just click on that. You know what, whatever the position you in, and at, it should shows and you know it pops right here what kind of size that you in it or how many shares you have right now currently in the position, right? But let's say you uh, uh, want to you know right after the the um, the fantasy order hit you want to put you know just stop not the cover target yet and uh, so you want to use the same stop mkt in this time and stop price is at 3.2 as you can see here you don't have the lower price then you don't have you know a target anymore so um, that means this is your hard stop right and when it hits 3.2 it will stop you out like instantly maybe you might get you know slippage sometimes since you know stock is is moving way too fast or like having a teleport candle or anything the the, the spread is like if you're trading nano floats uh don't expect it to get right you know at that price sometimes you know you got few cents or even 10 or 20 cents uh, you know slippage but you know the point here is we want to hard stops right if you knew you just want to get out of, of the trade that's it and so that's uh the stop and there's uh, another thing here that I would like to show you guys as well is this one you can use this as the conditional order it you know it same with uh, the fantasy limit order and then the range order you know you're putting out but this one you can do with all in once so let's say you want to short shares is 200 limit smart day at three so this is your fantasy order the first one right the the other one is you can put here the cover right once this hit the same price uh, the same shares and here you choose the range everything stays the same here at 3.2 as the previous example that I'm showing yes so basically basically when you click send you send it out the orders right and the only first you know the fantasy will be sent into the market or like in into the the portfolio but once it hit this one once it once you got filled this one will you know step in you know right away so there's just like two ways you can do it like either this or you can put here the fantasy you know at two short here and then once it filled you have to you know do it another one right here right which is uh, you know same 3.2 and 2.8 but this one conditional order is one this hit this one get triggers i don't use this a lot because sometimes you know i don't know i've, I've tried it a few times but uh, you know the platform is not that good and it kind of you know like stuck and it filled me only like the, the fantasy orders but that one didn't get through but i i don't know it's maybe it just happens you know from my side uh, but uh, you 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 can go ahead and try that but uh, for now i'm what i'm uh, what i do daily is that i put my fantasy out right let's say put a fantasy out i put it out it should be up there in a the portfolio you know window 
and right after when I put this out right I have I prepare myself like this and once it triggers like once it hit I just click cover right away like instantly when I saw the price is nearing the three you know line or like when I know that uh, you know the trade is likely or the order is likely going to be filled uh, you know I have this and uh, you know orders ready to uh, put it out there right away so that way you know if something happens and uh, you know it could stop me out all right guys so I hope uh, you uh, enjoy the video and you know best of luck next week uh, just be careful out there okay thank you so much for watching our video if you want to see more of our videos please subscribe to our youtube channel by clicking the button here we do our best to post a new video every single day if you have any questions about mic or any general trading questions please text tosh using the number here also stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here